Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to The Discriminating Gamer, the board game review show that was the very first guest on The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson. Nah, I'm just kidding, it was Groucho. Anyway, if you watch the show, you know, you know, you know, I love science fiction games. I love reading science fiction, I love watching science fiction, and I love playing science fiction. And so today, I want to tell you all about a science fiction game about gravity, called appropriately enough, Grabwell. In Gravwell, two to four players represent the crews of spaceships stranded in a black hole. And there's just a chance that one of them can escape. You've got a track that leads from a center black hole spiraling outward toward a warp gate, from which they can make their escape. But only one of them can make their escape. Now along the track are two derelict ships that just didn't have the ability to escape, so they're just kind of floating out there. The game begins when you lay out a number of cards, you take the number of players, you times it by three, and you lay a number of cards face down with one face-up card on top of them. So you know what one of the cards is, you don't know what the other card is. Then, going along in player order, you each grab one of those cards until you have a hand of six cards. All the players have a hand of six cards. You're also going to have a special card that is unique to your player in your player color that says Emergency Stop. More on that later. Now, for your very first turn, everybody's going to move out of the grab well a number of spaces up the track. Now, the cards have numbers on them, but they also have elements on them, all the way from A to Z. And A to Z is important because it's going to determine how the cards are played, in what order. So what you do is you all secretly select one of these fuel cards, you put it face down, and then you flip it at the same time. And you're going to resolve the cards in alphabetical order, from A down to Z. So what's going to happen is, when you move, you don't necessarily move forward, you move in the direction of the closest ship, be it another player or one of these derelict ships. So their gravity is going to affect your movement. So sometimes if you get way out in front, it wouldn't behoove you to play a card early because you're just going to be pulled back. You want somebody to actually get ahead of you so that you can kind of leapfrog them and move forward. Now there are also some other cards here. There is a repulsor card. Essentially, it acts like a regular fuel card, except you move in the opposite direction of the nearest ship. So if you're out in front, you may want to play a repulsor card so it pushes you forward once again. There is also a tractor beam card. Essentially, you don't move, but all the other ships around you, they come toward you. That number of spaces is, is printed on the card. So you play all six of your cards during a round, and at one point during the round, if there's a move that just really scares you, you're not happy with it, you can play that emergency stop. So essentially, you can cancel one of your movements per round. The game takes place over the course of six full rounds. Now, the winner is the first one to get to the warp gate, meaning they get out of the black hole's gravity, or if at the end of six rounds, the player that is closest to the warp gate, he is the winner. Gravwell, when it was first put on the market was done so by Cryptozoic Entertainment. Now, Renegade Studios kind of split off from Cryptozoic, and I don't know if it was an amiable split or what, I have no idea. But they got the rights to Gravwell, and now they are printing this new edition of Gravwell that is from Renegade. And when I first heard about Gravwell, when Cryptozoic put it out, as much as I like science fiction games, it, it just, it didn't look that interesting to me. It looked fairly... Um, simple. It looked fairly uninteresting. It just, you know, the idea of the track and I don't know. It, it just didn't thrill me. So I had this opportunity to review the new Renegade version. And so I went ahead and, 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 and I played it with my friends and kind of not knowing what to expect and thinking, okay, this might be, this might be okay. We played the cards at the same time. We flip it 
And then there's that, okay, okay, who moves? Who moves? Okay, he moves. And what's that going to do to me? And then he moves. And what's that going to do to me? And almost in spite of myself, I was laughing. I was, I was cheering when I, when I played my card in the right order or cursing the heavens when I played the card in the wrong order. This game is fun. It is so much fun because it, it, it's a game of kind of bluffing and trying to outguess your opponents. Which cards do they play? Are they going to play a card that's going to go fast so they can get ahead? And if they do that, then should I play one that goes later so that I can get ahead of them? Or should I just try to play a card that's faster now? Maybe I got a better shot. Should I play a repulsor? Should I play a tractor beam? It's it's really fun and really inventive. And, and it surprised me uh, how much fun Gravwell is. I really, really, really like Gravwell. So I'd have to say, let gravity do its trick and attract you to this game. See what I did there? The recommendation for the Discriminating Gamer for Gravwell is buy it! Thank you once again for joining us today on The Discriminating Gamer. As always, we ask you to please, please, please like us on Facebook and subscribe to us on YouTube. We are The Discriminating Gamer. And remember, kids, don't play near black holes. May somebody help me on my feet again And I don't know where I'm going And I don't know where I've been Please somebody help me on the solid ground It's a long time and I'll be dying Once a year I wind up in the band Well, they sing me a song just like Abraham Lincoln did during the battles of Space Getty Bird. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> okay.